Hey everyone, um, just letting you know if you have X, formerly Twitter, to go follow me at Beer Money Engine if you want to see what the latest videos are. I will continue to post on the YouTube community page when I can as well, but I do most of my posting now on X, so go check me out at Beer Money Engine. And now for the video. <sighs> you know, I have like a dozen ideas I want to do over the next couple months. But now that I've finally finished the video on social casinos and I'm finally working on the new edition of the Optimal Strategy Guide, which I should have out next month, the one thing I've been asked to do after that is a video on Stealth G605. Well, I was planning to do this sometime around the end of September on the one year anniversary of his presidency, uh, but the comments just kept piling up, so... I thought before I go on break for a little while, I'll give you all what you want and let this video on there for a week. So this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video. And this one is on the U.S. President and honestly, at this point, World Dictator of Atlas Earth, Mr. Stealth G605. So when I made that original video 10 months ago, Stealth G605 had around 24,000 parcels of land and had just overtook Open Boosters to take the top spot. But as you see on the leaderboard now, and this is the US leaderboard, he's not even silver medal anymore. He's fallen to the bronze position in the US with Snowfish overtaking him for the number two spot. And Stealth G605 has basically put the Iron Throne on his lead on the other two, having almost as many parcels as Snowfish and Open Boosters combined at 49,000. Taking a look at his profile here, we see we, he has about 24,549 common parcels. That is definitely above average. Um, 14,628 rare parcels, 7,380 epic parcels, and 2,443 legendary parcels. And so I am going to answer three questions that have popped up in the comments and on Discord chats regarding all of this. And, you know, just regarding stealth in general. And that is the first one. Is it possible that he got this without spending any money? A lot of people are saying absolutely not, but the answer might surprise you on this one. Second, how much will a player have to buy in Atlas Bucks to beat him? And three, exactly how much is he earning? So if I go back to my previous video on Stealth, I had mentioned that he should stand to earn around 13,000 parcels a year. And back then he had about 24,000 parcels. Considering we're only about five, six of the year in, you'd be thinking, well, that's around, you know, ballpark math, 11,000 parcels. So he should only be about 35,000 parcels. So case closed. He has put in more money, right? Well, yes and no. I mean, yes, he could have put in more money for all we know. We don't know that. Well, you know, three things do get in the way of that. And the first one is that in the video he was governor of six states well if i can just kind of move this over here you can see here he now has the governorship in 10 states um if you i, I will go ahead and compare his governorship if i have it back then to the governorship now but i do know for sure uh he has indiana where he didn't before and i believe he has iowa where he didn't before so that's definite and a couple of these states are pretty decent sized states with a growing Atlas Earth population. So he's likely getting, you know, the equivalent of an Illinois governorship out of it, out of each of these states. Well, maybe a little bit less than Illinois out of it, like Missouri, possibly. I, I believe he didn't have Missouri at the time as well. Um, so yeah, with Indiana, Missouri, and Iowa, and several others as well, like, yeah, this isn't exactly like the Dakotas or something, all right? So He's very likely gotten a lot more, uh, a lot more gains off of Atlas Bucks just off of the increase in the governorship and the increase in all of the different mayorships that he has from Chicago, Milwaukee, Indianapolis, Wichita, Fort Wayne, uh, Kansas City. Uh, the, the list just keeps going on here. I mean, he had to have at least twice as many mayorships now than he did a year ago. Just look at all this, you know? <laughs> Um, yeah, so that would be the first thing I think is just the amount of Atlas Bucks he's taking in from his mayorship badges has increased because he has larger cities. He has more governorships. The second thing as well is that uh, if we go back here to the balance here, he might have just not cashed out of Atlas Earth. He might have actually 
you know, converted his money to Atlas Bucks using the 33 Atlas Bucks to $1 promotion. And as you'll see at the very end, he has a lot of Atlas Bucks to work with, especially if he boosted during the Super Rent Boost events, which I am almost certain that he has. So uh, that's another one. And finally, um, Atlas Earth in general has just gotten a bit more popular from last year. Business and activity has picked up a bit in the U.S. I know the majority has come from international, but there has been some pickup from the U.S. as well. And that can also cause an increase in the USA badge income as well. So these three things could ensure that Stealth has not really spent a dime since the 80k buy that caused him to move up to 24,000 parcels. And honestly, if he keeps at it and he keeps getting these bonuses at the level that I think that he is, I fully expect like four figure parcel jumps like on a monthly basis the longer he is president. Now, second is a much simpler question and something that I don't have to just speculate. I can actually just show hard math on. And that is how much will you have to buy in order to beat Stealth G605 today if you started from scratch? So... He currently sits at 49,000 parcels exactly. We just multiply that by 100 Atlas Bucks per parcel. And that gives us 4.9 million Atlas Bucks. We are going to assume that you are going to forego badges in this case because you're only focused on the parcels and badges. It doesn't matter what the badges are uh, towards the, um, towards your, uh, well, in this case, the presidency. Um, we're going to assume though, you did get 450 Atlas bucks in bonuses, the 250 in the beginning that you get from the tutorial, uh, the notification and the text messages, as well as 200 Atlas bucks of a bonus. Once you bought your 10th parcel, if you have placed a referral code before you bought your second parcel. So, um, we're just going to tack that on here and just not even count it. We'll just say that you only still need to get 4.9 million because again you're going to need to do 49,001 uh, if you want to beat him so I'm just going to say that you want to beat him by four parcels in this case so 4.9 million atlas bucks divided by the largest package that we have 54,000 atlas bucks that is for uh $2,000 1999 gives us 90.74 of these packages if you're trying to save money and at this point I don't know why you don't just buy the 91st package but let's say you are Buying up to 90 of these packages for 4.86 million Atlas Bucks. And then with the remaining 40,000, we'll buy one 26,000 Atlas Buck package worth $999.99. Uh, two 5,150 Atlas Bucks packages worth $199.99. One 2550 package worth $99.99. One 990 package worth $39.99. And two 110 packages worth $4.99 each. Adding them all up gives us $181,459.93. We are legitimately getting into state lottery winning levels here. There are houses on the market right now worth less than the money you'd need from scratch to beat Stealth G605. Now I'm going to throw a few more fun facts in here too to just show you just how many, how much of an impact 49,000 parcels is on the Atlas Earth game. So... Let's talk about the first, the amount of area that he owns. So at 49,000 parcels, we're going to multiply each parcel by 900 square feet because that is 900 square feet for a parcel of land 30 feet by 30 feet. He owns 44.1 million square feet of land, which is equivalent to about 1,012.4 acres, 4.09 square kilometers, or 1.58 square miles. And that's not to say anything of time to buy these parcels either. You can't just put down 49,000 parcels at once and boom, you're done. You have to drive, place, and all that. But let's just say you're going to walk or drive and make one giant 1.58 square mile block of land in your town. Now, if you remember my video back on January 7th when I put down 105 parcels of land in Atrium Health Ballpark, where the, you know, the Canapolis Cannonballers are, um, it took me around 45 minutes to put down all 105 parcels. This is, of course, adding walking and setting up and everything. So, yes, I was also recording at the time, but you got to think that you'll be spending time setting up driving over and over again from town to town. So think of that as kind of replacing the recording and stuff that I was doing. Now, this is around 20 atrium health ballparks of land we're trying to get. You aren't just going to stand in one place. So we're going to go with my number of 105 parcels of land for 45 minutes. 
Uh, then to get 49,000 parcels of land, you will need about 350 hours of playing time to get there. Assuming you play 10 hours a day, this will take you a little over a month. And by then, he's likely already a couple thousand parcels ahead anyway, at the very least. Finally, the third thing is how much is he earning? And for this, I'm going to go to the Atlas Earth calculator. And I've already done all the inputs. I'm going to assume, though, we're going to assume 22 hours of boosting a day, however. Just because, you know, we assume that he sleeps, of course. So I'm going to go based off of that. Um... And so adding that on and with the boost obviously at 2x and max badges because I believe he does have max badges right here. So um, we go down here. Uh, by the way, I also noticed um, he was at like the 70th percentile in distribution. He's fallen below average to the 43rd percentile. It's just something I wanted to note. So if I go down here... And you see that he makes about $16.07 per day normally. And during a 32-hour Super Rent Boost event, he makes $559. And his monthly income is $1,473 per month. And this is assuming the 22 hours of boosting. Now, if he actually did the 24 hours of boosting instead, let me bring that down here. Um, it goes up to $1,583 a month, so not quite enough to live on, maybe if you're on a super low budget, but he's definitely getting there. I think another ten to 20,000 parcels of land, he might actually be able to live off of his Atlas Earth income if he so chose. Now, you're all wondering if Atlas Earth is actually happy with this or not, and if you think about it, actually Atlas Reality is probably quite happy at seeing this kind of dedication and dominance from some of their players. I mean, games are mainly catered to whales to begin with, but let's think about this for a second. Uh, every single parcel of land when boosted under Stealth G605 will only be boosted at 2x. So if 490 players held 100 parcels each, they would be boosted at 30x and they'd have to pay 15 times more. So it would be better for them to have someone like Stealth take more of these parcels so that they pay out 1 15th of what they would if newbies play it. Especially at this point in the game when land is aplenty, and we are nowhere near the point where alternate methods of earnings like selling parcels or buying legendary upgrades is even a necessity. As of right now, someone had mentioned on our Discord that about 16 million parcels have been bought on Atlas Earth in the United States, which sounds like a lot until you realize that's only about 516 square miles. The size of the contiguous United States by itself is about 3 million square miles of land. Almost three years in, and we have grabbed a little under 0.02% of the total land in the game, or 1 5,000th of the continuous U.S. We have a long way to go, and the game has a, to get a lot more popular to even consider getting us to that next stage, which I assume we'll get there when we hit around 9 to 10 percentish of the land available, because a lot of the land is inaccessible, what with military bases, national parks, you know, st stuff like that. So that is the video. If he does do anything, you know, drastic, like maybe if he made it to, I don't know, 70 or 80,000 parcels, I might make another video about it. But in the meantime, uh, that's your update regarding our uh, favorite whale here, Stealth G605. And to give you an idea of just how much money he's making on Atlas Earth and how much he's basically made after, you know, reinvesting or maybe he had spent money. We don't quite know. It's kind of hard to tell. And I'm not about to ask uh, Mod Manning or any of the other staff members at Atlas Earth because I'm pretty sure they're not allowed to do that anyway. So, if you like this video, go on and give it a like, comment your thoughts on Stealth G605, and don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. There is one more thing I gotta mention as well. I'm going to be going on break from August 1st to the 12th. Uh, I do have two videos set up on August 7th and August 10th for you all. Uh, August 7th is going to be the month in review, and that will be scheduled to go up on the 7th. And then on the 10th, I have an accompaniment video to my social casinos video. So that's the plans for the 7th and the 10th. And I'll probably make a very quick one too on the 14th regarding Pokerist. All right, everybody. So that's pretty much it. I will see you all when I come back from break. 
Of course, you'll have those two videos as well, so you won't be missing me too much. I'll see you all next time, everyone. Bye, everybody.